All this time I've wondered how I managed to live most of my life sleeping at night. Welcome, everyone. So we're into week seven, and we are featuring the color blue green and split complementary colors of orange and red. This is quite a vibrant combination, in my opinion, but a good one. And so before we get started, I should let you know that I already selected a theme for this layout, and we're going for grunge graffiti. So let's get started. So I've already gessoed my pages with heavy body gesso and now I'm just applying colors of red and orange. I'm just swathing them all over the page but I'm being mindful that I want to leave some white space because I've said it before I get kind of uh, carried away and um, don't leave enough white space on my pages. And it's a little bit of a challenge when you're working in a smaller book. Again, this is a six by six journal. Next, I have small torn pieces of painted deli paper, which is one of my favorite uh, elements to use. And it's adding a hint of white there and um, more of the two split complementary colors. For the next step, I am going to add more white by stenciling, and I'm using small but very open designs here, and just using acrylic white paint in a few areas, and I like how it turns out. It's time for graffiti, and this is instant graffiti using Tim Holtz um, collage papers here. And I'm really glad I picked this up the other day. I used to have, do you remember the first collage pages that he released way back a few years ago? And they came in a roll that was kind of like a saran wrap roll, so it was big. I know I still have a, a couple boxes but I couldn't find them in time for this to show them here um, in the video. But anyway, this really does the trick. You could also use stamps if you wanted to, but I thought I'd take advantage of this product. Graffiti wouldn't be complete without your own scribbles, so here I am using a Stabilo All and just making random marks throughout the pages. And now it's time to add the blue green and I will continue this using a stencil. I like this combination of text and numbers and the diamond pattern there. So I will use this throughout the pages but I want to talk a little bit about stencils. If you don't have any or um, might not have worked with them before, you really don't need a stencil, a manufactured one, that is. There are many ways to um, get the same effect by using simple items. This is netting. It's plastic. Um, I'm not sure if it was, you know, fruit packaging or something, but 
I had it in my box of stencils. So I pulled that out. And also sequin waste. You know, this is what they cut confetti out of. And that's a popular one to use for circles. Um, that ring is a um, needlepoint canvas that you can cut into different shapes. It's kind of thick, so you have to apply some pressure on using those, but they make good masks as well. And don't forget paper or your die cuts. If you have die cuts in floral shapes or, or geometric shapes or anything like that, in fact, you can cut, cut them out in paper, out of paper rather. So um, again, there's a lot of ways to make marks that are similar to using stencils and um, look around or go on YouTube and there are a lot of ideas out there. Okay, I just wanted to share that little tip. Okay, now that the uh, spray has dried, it's I like it, I really do, but at the same time I feel like something's missing or, or there's not enough um, punch to it, if that makes sense. So I looked at it for a while, trying to decide what I wanted to do, and I thought using paint would be too much. so. I remembered pastels. So that's what I'm going to do next. I uh, pulled a box of Sennelier pastels, dry pastels, and we'll work with the three colors. Okay, I think that did the trick. At least it helped um, balance the colors, if you will, even though that the blue-green is the featured color. Having those marks in the orange and red adds that umph I was looking for. But I'm still not quite sure. I'm going to let it sit for a while. I'm going to decide on a focal point and some words and see what else I can do. But we're on the right track here. Well, here it is. Let me walk you through the steps I did off camera. First, I went back in with a little bit of white acrylic paint. And because the Delusion Spray is water soluble, the colors ran a bit. So I had to let that dry before continuing. I finally realized that more contrast was needed, and I also knew that using black acrylic paint in strategic areas would do the trick. Again, I didn't want to overwhelm things, it's busy enough as it is, so I chose this stencil to use in the areas that you see here. The image is backed with a little piece of black and white paper and I stapled sari ribbon in between for texture and interest. And that's it. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. Maybe you'll try and be inspired to add a little graffiti grunge into your journal. So until next week, take care and thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy. Bye. Travel